Hey guys, I'm Jerry. I'm Sierra. We're ladies. And we tangent. What's, What's up, up everyone? everyone? Hello. Oh. I don't think we said that last week. What? <laughs> Are <laughs> Sorry. you joking? <laughs> no. Well, we were really, it was a lot going on last week. Yeah. We were having a lot of feelings. Oh, I also never clapped, and that was a real pain in the bitch for me. Oh. <laughs> Go ahead so. and clap. And there we are. There, that's, <laughs> that's better. A real pain in the bitch. <laughs> it was a real pain in the bitch. Um, hey, please don't lick your hot spot. <laughs> Can't do that. He's got allergies. Me too. I know. Ohio is for allergies. <laughs> um, hey guys. Hey, how's it going? This How are us. we still doing? Um, not I well. I feel. I feel fine. Do you? Yeah. Good yeah, finer than I have in a Good while. Good for you. I know. I'll say. I feel like I have started a new chapter. <gasps> Proud of you. Thank you. You needed that. I did need that. Mm-hmm. And maybe it's because my bangs can tuck behind my ears again. That's <laughs> nice, man. That is nice. I felt like, guys, I know that I was really like playing up the bangs thing. And maybe I've talked about how much I hated them before, but I'm going to reiterate it again. <laughs> When I did that to myself, the amount of self-loathing that I had, it was like I had so much confusion on the inside that it was like, we're going to manifest this physically on your head for you. So uh-huh. everyone can see how feel- disheveled you are on the inside. Yeah. Um, and then I just had to like make it work. But truly, I did not feel comfortable. Yeah. And when we were in L.A. and I was able to tuck my hair behind my ears again, I was like, oh. She's a chic bitch yes. again. Yes. <laughs> it Yay. makes a difference when you feel comfortable. Yeah. Like that's how I feel like uh when I there there's some like baby things still hanging around in this yeah. area and I truly don't mind gaining I weight. I pictured multiple babies hanging there's from There's babies you. hanging off of me. <laughs> yeah. No, but I truly don't mind gaining weight. Yes. It like doesn't bother me. However, the fact that it's like all in this centered area um and like I don't feel like I can sit comfortably. I don't feel like I can bend over comfortably. I don't feel like I can button my pants and feel comfortable in anything that's not sweats. Um, Is that's That's tough. I can feel I feel that. Yeah. But it's starting to go away. And it is just like my uterus. I had a baby. So it's not even like I'm saying like that it's something that it's it's I know what it is, but (laughs) it's just uncomfortable. Yeah. Well, and we always have to remember that like. Even though we can cognitively say, I don't care about gaining weight, I am not defined by the number yeah. that is on the scale or the number that is on my clothes, You, s- there is still something within you, the foundation of how we view our bodies yeah. was built when we were literal children. Yeah, very and much so. even though as adults we know differently, we are battling Yes. Essentially, our younger self who's saying, no, that's bad. Yeah. No, no one will love you like this. No, I'm afraid to that I'm going to be made fun of for that. Mm-hmm. And even like I said, even though we know now we have to like tell the younger version of ourselves, like we're still a bad bitch. Yeah. And I am. I just I can't bend over. <laughs> we just got to get bigger clothes <laughs> because it hurts. Yeah. It squeezes in areas that I don't want it to. Yeah. Well, it's not even, I don't even would say that it's like a weight gain. It's just a postpartum body, man. Yep. And that first year, it's going to be different. And it's you know what something I thought? that is tough. It's tough. I saw my shadow today mm-hmm. and I was like, when did I get hips? Oh, hey. Truly, I've never had hips in my life. Yeah. It was like an ongoing joke that I was shaped like a board. <laughs> and I obviously was insecure about that because I thought hips was like a womanly thing mm-hmm. and that's the figure, hourglass, all that bullshit. But, and so I looked at myself and I was like, oh my God, I think I have hips. And then I had like the realization that my body will never, even though I, I don't know why you, you, you guys ever have realizations sometimes where you're like, yeah, yeah, fucking duh. Like <laughs> we've always known that you've said that before even, yes. but like it doesn't click till it clicks. Yes. It clicked in that moment where I'm like, my body is never going to be the same again. No, I am I've 31 had... years old. Yep. I have two babies. Yep. I am aging. I am slowly decaying and dying. <laughs> my body is going to reflect that. It's going to be different. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. And that's how my body feels. My body yeah. is like, hey, we went through some trauma mm-hmm. like eight months ago. Do you remember that? 
Do you remember what you were like this time last year and all of your parts were swelling? Yep. Well, we're still going to do that because, mm, mm-hmm. you know, like that's I can't go outside in the heat for too long or I'll just start swelling. Yes. Um, so, yeah, it's just different, but not bad. That's not what I wanted to talk about. Fuck my body. Well, don't fuck, fuck my, my body. body. <laughs> me on the floor. Yeah. Yeah. Tussle me some, tussle? some more. <laughs> tussle? Tussle. You think they... they they don't use tussle enough in lyrics. She definitely says tussle in that song, right? She says tussle? I feel like she definitely says tussle. I think it's somewhere. wrestle. Honestly, I don't know. Who sings that song? <laughs> Mariah Carey. <gasps> a queen. What did Mariah Carey say whenever she was asked about Jennifer Lopez? I don't know her. What? I didn't know that. Oh, yeah. There's some drama there. <gasps> Because of Eminem. <laughs> I don't know. Was J-Lo with Eminem? No, I'm just kidding. I don't know. That's the only thing I know about Mariah Carey. Oh. Well, it, it surely wasn't Nick Cannon, was it? <laughs> I, I would hope not. <laughs> he's, got, anyone... he's got enough going on. <laughs> Truly. You know that about this? Yes, I do oh, know my about that. goodness gracious. I know. Um, also, if you guys are watching the visual uh, of this, the video... Um, there is a candle going, so it's let giving me, know. me so much excitement. I know. Let me know if anything catches on fire um, <laughs> while you're watching this because I cannot see it above me. Birdie did take a big old dump of rooski on the rug right before we started, and it smelled hot and fresh out the kitchen. <laughs> oh God, you know that guy. R. Sucks. Kelly is in jail. <laughs> Hooray! Hallelujah! Yeah, that's a win. That's a win that we needed. We did. We, we did. did need that. Um. We are talking about our LA trip yeah. today. Which you say we're gonna, we are talking about R. Kelly. And I was like, <laughs> we're gonna talk about about fucking springing this on me. <laughs> no, no. I guess my brain went from R. Kelly, to famous person, LA. LA. Okay. Um, but I, my brain also did that when we were talking about our bodies because oh, when we were in LA, I've never felt better. Sierra and I were like kind of anticipating and maybe you guys have this thought as well about Los Angeles that like there is a, a strict standard of beauty and if you if don't, you don't fit adhere in, to that yeah. they're gonna stare at you and be like make you Ugh, uncomfortable you disgusto and I do feel like there's always going to be places like that with people yeah. but we did not experience that oh my god it was wonderful all. I said I felt like the most nobody gives a shit nobody is looking yeah. at you at any time and maybe that's like they're so consumed with themselves but I fucking love that for them mm-hmm. like it was beautiful at no point did I feel uncomfortable because I could be walking around with like my titties to the wind <laughs> and nobody would have blinked an eye yeah. it was just like we were Another day in photos. L.A. If I would have asked Sierra to take photos in public here, she would have rather chewed her own arm off. I would have. Literally, I would have chewed it off. <laughs> but there was no... She was like taking direction when yeah. I was posing her. Yeah. It, it didn't matter. We were doing like multiple takes of stuff. Yeah. I did feel a little embarrassed, but I was like, who the fuck cares? These people... They weren't looking at us. No. If here in small town Ohio, people would have had their phones out. They would have been laughing. They would have been like direct eye contact making fun of you because people, you're fucking suck. (laughs) And so like that was so refreshing. I was like, oh, I could be whatever I want. Yeah. Nobody cares. Yeah. So uh, for the sake of not rambling and being all over the place, I thought it might be a good idea to put a question box up and see what you guys wanted to know about our LA trip and kind of allow that to be um, our guide. I love that. So I'm going to look at the questions now. Okay. Have you looked at them yet? Yeah. Okay, good. <laughs> of course. Free, freestyle. Uh, I do know that there's some in there and some that we would answer. Good. Okay. Wow, there's way more here than last <laughs> time. I checked. Holy shit. That's not how this works. Um. Okay, have you ever been to L.A. before? Never. No. I've never even been to California. I've never, I've never even either. been to the West Coast. It was my I, first time. I've been to Washington and Oregon, but I've never been to California, mm-hmm. so I've definitely never been to L.A. Um, that always seemed like a really long and intimidating flight to me, and also so ungodly expensive that yeah. I was like, <laughs> I will look at it online. <laughs> yes. I will never be able to go there. Yeah, but it, yeah, it wasn't... The flight definitely wasn't what I thought it was going to be. Well, and I'm was, terrified of flying. There was a question about that. Okay. Um, let me see if I can try and find it. What's your favorite and least favorite thing about planes? Okay. Favorite <laughs> thing. Much faster than driving. Obviously. <laughs> Great. Yeah. We were literally from one side of the country to the other in one day. Yeah. Least favorite. Everything else. <laughs> <laughs> I'll tell you. One of the questions was, uh, was there any travel anxiety? And the other was, who freaked out more or who was more calm and 
I have traveled alone before. Yeah. I have been on planes by myself, navigated so different times. airports, caught like a lot. This was like my second time. <laughs> yes, this was Sierra's second time ever being like on a plane somewhere. Like you went to and from Mexico yep. and it, they were both direct flights. Yep. And our flight to LA was direct, but our flight home was not. Never experienced that before. <laughs> it's just like, if you want to know the stark difference between me and Sierra, <laughs> I will tell you right now what it is. <laughs> I found two instances of this. Okay. One, my arm. What about it? So I have I have a picking disorder. You guys know oh, this. Oh, trigger my. warning for like gross picking stuff. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I had so much anxiety mm-hmm. about um, the reason we were there, which that's a question, and we'll get into it. That I was just picking at this one thing on my arm, uh-huh. and it looked disgusting. I was furious. It with was her. green. Furious. Okay. <laughs> well, because you weren't letting it heal. I kept telling her, I know all your little white blood cells and all of those little guys are going up there. They're doing such a hard job trying to build you a scab. And as soon as they do it, you <laughs> rip it off. And what did I tell you? That I'm working even harder to make sure they have a scab to build. <laughs> <laughs> okay. But it definitely did look like it might be infected, so I was I was very upset. So me, I'm like it's fine. Let me pick it. I just need to get the green out. <laughs> as soon like, as I get the green out, we're going to be good and I can't get it out if I leave this on. I was like that's not how that's not how this is going to work. And she goes, "You're going to lose your arm. <laughs> you're going to get you're going to get cellulitis. You're going to get infantago. You're going to get staph. It's going to travel. You're about to get on an airplane it, with that dusty circulated air. You know what's going to happen? You're going to lose your arm." <laughs> and I'm like, "It's going to be fine. You're going to have a scar like a divot in your arm." <laughs> and I'm like, "I I, d- I genuinely don't care." <laughs> So there's stark difference number one between the two of us. Yeah. Stark difference number two is the plane. Are you going to talk about what I was Googling? Yes. <laughs> so our landing from our flight to Dallas, from LA to Dallas, was a little bit sketchy. And I think that I would have been okay, except that I looked over at Jerry and she looked nervous. <laughs> and I was like, uh-oh, you've flown before <laughs> and you look nervous. Okay. So- this isn't normal. Typically, it was going very fast. Typically, <laughs> when you're doing your descent, you don't speed up. No, we were, um, we were rocketing towards the ground. We were. We were. And I was like, um, <laughs> she goes, is this normal? I go, not really. <laughs> no, not really. Because like we were plummeting, plummeting, plummeting. And then they pulled up and I'm like, were we about to like head on collision with another plane and we need to create <laughs> airspace? What's happening? Yeah. But I looked over and we were in the exit row um, and there was. A yeah, I asked for a fucking window seat. They <laughs> I, got stuck. I was like, "Where's my window?" It was just a wall. <laughs> the only part it was the, the door. <laughs> it was the door. I was like, "Oh well." Oh. Anyway, but there was a flight attendant who was sitting there, and he was looking up um, the gate for the couple who was across the aisle for us. He's like, "Hey, when we land, this is where your gate is. Uh, it's probably faster if you take this." And I said, "He doesn't seem concerned." Yeah. He thinks we're going to land cuz he's already making plans for that. <laughs> <laughs> so that's a good sign. <laughs> um, but that- yes, when we landed, Sierra's like, "How often do you think you think these things fly out of the sky? They just <laughs> fall." And I'm like, "Not often." She goes, "I have to Google it." <laughs> and I did. I spent about 30 minutes just googling different sites. I'm like, "Yeah." What? How many have fl- fallen out of the air, and for mm-hmm. what reason? Yes. What's the likelihood? And I'm like, don't fucking look that up. I even looked up our specific airline, airline which was a little scary because they have more than <laughs> they had a little more than I thought they would. It was. I- I could not. I was like, just fucking, if you've never heard about it, just assume that it's fine. And I can't do that she because cannot. I have to, I have a weird thing where like Googling, for instance, we were staying in an Airbnb in Hollywood Hills. And while we were staying there, I had to Google how many murders have happened in the Hollywood Hills. I don't know why, but all of the houses are stacked on top of each other. Like if you yeah, wanted it to. it is bizarre. If you were like really good at jumping, you could just jump from one to like <laughs> like into the neighbor's yard. Oh my God. If you're good at parkour, go to the Hollywood Hills. <laughs> you can fucking be in so many backyards. <laughs> parkour for days. <laughs> it's insane. Yeah. So like, I don't know why that freaked me out that I was like, I don't know. I just have to see, you know, have people been <laughs> murdered at the Hollywood Hills? I feel like it, that's a thing. And then so, same with the plane. It calms me down, I think, when I read it because... <laughs> 
same. But it didn't. It didn't. You were so I, fucking maybe. anxious on that next flight. Well, because the flight was like boom, 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 okay, okay, okay. okay. I told her. It felt her. like we were bumping into fucking rocks. <laughs> <laughs> Which we were not because we were in the sky. But I told her, hey, this is a smaller plane. <laughs> So you are going to feel more movement. It is not going to be as smooth. Oh, my God. And so as we are literally taking off, she goes, I don't feel right about this. Something's wrong with this plane. I don't feel, I don't feel right about this. Will you hold my hand? And I said, no. She wouldn't. Oh I my. said, hold your own hand. But I looked at her. I looked at her. And it this didn't is, feel right. And this is Okay, this is how you know if you're a Jerry or Sierra. If you're the person freaking the fuck out. <laughs> You're a seer. And yeah. if you're the person who looks at the person freaking the fuck out and says, one of two things is going to happen. We're going to land or we're going to die. And we can't do either. <laughs> because we're already either. too far up in the air to do anything about it. So, so I was like, great. <laughs> we, we're we here now. So just calm the fuck down. Look at how far up we are in the sky. And I was like, mm-hmm. <laughs> this is not helping. This is not helping. So she was like, what's the worst that could happen? We die? I welcome it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm ready. Um, so uh, Sierra had more <laughs> travel anxiety. I definitely did. I definitely I did. did. But I did so good on the way you there. Did. I did I, amazing on the way there. I tr- and we didn't even sit next to each other. No, we didn't. We truly <laughs> traveled well together. We did. We were amazing. I'm so upset. Somebody pitch a fucking show idea because we had so many moments where I was like, where is the fucking camera? Because this is hilarious. Oh, my God. The amount of shit that also happened to us. I like. <laughs> are there questions? There or are. Or can questions. we just get into Yeah, yeah. Let's look for more questions. One of the questions was, what were you doing there? And okay. so the whole reason that we went, people thought we were. um like on vacation and no that wasn't true no. um i wish i, I think we had like one day where we had like free time it was work worky work for the most part yeah anyways so we so, were there for work it was a good trip but oh yeah 100 percent. it wasn't a vacation <laughs> right so we left here at 3 30 in the morning yeah i hadn't slept oh i had barely and you were i had a wedding the day before yeah we get to california we get our do we even need to tell you this part? I don't know. Anyway, the whole reason we were there is because we were um, invited to speak on another podcast. Yes. So they gave us the option. They were like, you can do it virtually or you can come be in person. And we were like, you know what? We're going to do it in person. Yep. So we put our happy asses on a plane and went to LA. Yeah, we did. To go to the studio and talk in person. Um, I don't know how much we're allowed to tell. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. And it may be a while till it comes out because it's more of a, I think. Um, I think it's more of a journalistic type podcast. Yeah. And I know it's a newer podcast, so I'm not sure if they are like going to be collecting episodes and then like releasing a certain amount. I, like I said, we don't have all the details. And when we do know that, we'll update you. Yeah. Um, but yeah, that's why we were there. That's right. Yes. Someone asked if we felt safe traveling around town. Oh. I would say, yeah. I felt totally... I kept telling Sierra that I felt more comfortable driving there than, than I did anywhere else. I agree. Yeah. And even, like, we went and walked around, like, maybe two different places, and I, I felt fine. Unsafe. Yeah. Now, we did mostly just go back to our I was going to say, Airbnb. we were not out walking around past, like, 6 p.m. <laughs> because yeah. we just went home every night. Yeah. We were not, like, out during the nightlife. So, I don't know yeah. if that would have been different, but... yeah. That was not uh, a priority for us. People were no. like, what are you going to do? What are you going to see? We were, I, so we were so like, tired. Yes. I oh, just, my God. Well, I just want to sit. <laughs> I'll do the work stuff. Yep. I might go see a place to eat. And then we're going to lay, to lay down. <laughs> mm-hmm. um, someone asked if we got to go to Pride and how was it? I wish we would have. We but... didn't. I, I looked it up. They didn't have anything going on while mm-hmm. we were there. Um. And yeah, also, we were like, only we there said, for three days. We were so fucking tired. <laughs> and and busy. Like, yeah. we pretty much had things to do all three of those days. Yeah. So, um, But, like Sierra and I said earlier, there was so many people who were just so beautifully and authentically themselves oh, that amazing. another one of the questions is, would we ever move there? I don't think we could ever move there. I just Another question was about, like, cost of, like, is it, like, expensive there in comparison? yes very incredibly fucking expensive um 
but there were so many beautiful things about it. Yeah. I don't think we could live there. No, I but I, I couldn't, I could never move that far away from my family, but. And I could never be somewhere where I had to like be physically on top of people. Yeah. No. Yeah. That was a lot. I'm not a big, me and Jerry are both not big city living type of people. <laughs> love to go, love to go and visit. Yeah. Could never live in a city. Another, I don't like to be around people. Well, and so another, if I'm paying like millions of dollars, like some of these houses we oh, were around yeah. were like millions and they're literally stacked on top of each other. And I'm like, if I'm paying you millions. You can literally look into someone else's yard. Yeah. If I'm paying millions of dollars, I don't want to have neighbors. I'll be honest. <laughs> I realized across the way mm -hmm. that I could see a bathtub. Oh, yeah. You could see like, it into their like, house. Full bathtub. Yep. And uh, part of me was like, damn, that sounds free as fuck. I'd just be <laughs> naked as hell in that window. <laughs> I would, Like, too. the world is my oyster. <laughs> I absolutely And I'm showing the world my oyster. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck are they going to do? No, I know. Another one of the questions was, is the traffic really that bad? I don't know. It was interesting because we would be like, hey, we have to go eight miles and it would take us like 45 minutes to get there. So that was interesting. But a lot of that was city driving. And there's like stoplights and so stuff. So many stoplights. So many fucking stoplights. A lot of people. Yeah. But like it wasn't like standstill traffic like we have here. Have you ever been in Ohio during like construction season? Yeah. That's fucking bad traffic. Jesus. And And I'm sure that like... If we had gone to certain places at certain times, maybe we would have run into it. But yeah, where we I didn't were think at. it was that bad. No. Someone said, did you get recognized? We did. We did. <gasps> Shout out. Natalia. Yeah. Hi. Um, and she it was, was so, we, it so, was so sweet. Because when we were in LA, we were like on the look look out for celebrities we did yeah. that was a question we didn't see anyone no at least i don't think that we did I, i'm not like up on my celebrity game so unless they were like a very very famous I celebrity even know where to go that's to find I'm, them yeah no um, well that's what and they have to be like in their element i'm very bad at recognizing i'll be like that person looks familiar and they're like that's jake gyllenhaal <laughs> <laughs> what the hell but like if they're not in their element i just don't yeah i just see people being people um but i kept saying like do you think someone's gonna recognize us mm -hmm. and i thought no way they, we have such imposter syndrome that we're yeah, like absolutely, absolutely no. not um but when we were flying home we were at lax and natalia came up to us um i had just walked out of the bathroom <laughs> i was still in the bathroom and i was like hey sierra's about to come out and sierra was literally like ashton kutcher on punk <laughs> snuck up behind her and was like hey <laughs> literally, good. because there's two entrances to the bathroom and they were waiting i walked in the one so i think they were looking for me to come out that one and i saw her talking to jerry and when i saw how they were interacting i'm like there's no way they know each other so she has to be like for yeah. the and i heard you say sierra's coming out and i'm like it is so i walked up <laughs> behind her and i was like hey, what's happening <laughs> it was what was so cool is it was very much like an exciting experience, I think, on both ends. Because like, she walked away and we saw her like being excited. She was talking to her mom. She was like fanning yeah. herself. And me and Jerry were like giddy as well. Like, <laughs> we did. We like, both. Jumping up and down also. We, she called Corey and I called Shane. I'm like, you're never going to believe what just happened. <laughs> this is so cool. It was. So thank you uh, for coming up to us because that like made our day. It really it did. It was really special. We told everybody about it. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I forgot I have the questions. <laughs> Just waiting for the conversation. To, where's it going to go? <laughs> how was celebrate? Someone asked how it was celebrating your birthday there. Amazing. Amazing. So we went to a restaurant called Kitchen 24. Oh, yeah. It was so good. So fucking good. So good. There's lots of questions about the food. The food was phenomenal. Fucking phenomenal. I don't know if you guys have ever heard of Arby's. <laughs> <laughs> It's a quaint little <laughs> establishment in LA. It was delicious. No, just they kidding. have the meats. <laughs> they do. Um, That's not where we went. No, we did go to that place. So we went there. I had some beers, and then we were like, "Let's go get coffee because <laughs> <laughs> we like an upper with our downers." Yes. <laughs> so I did. I was really buzzing in a lot of ways. We went to Trader Joe's because to oh us my that God, was like yeah. an experience. Yeah, and we, we were bought so around. much shit. That we couldn't take home with us. <laughs> like, no. why? We bought a whole cheesecake. We did. <laughs> that we thought we were going to eat for my birthday. And then we realized that it was supposed to be kept frozen and we had it out like the whole time. And so we didn't like, have oh, a freezer. Well, <laughs> I guess we are not eating that. Mm -hmm. So 
Um, because then we did a Patreon live, so that was great. Yeah. And then I think did we get in the hot? T- we got in the hot tub. Yep. We talked to our uh, manager for an hour. For an hour. <laughs> and the time difference. He was in New York, so we're in LA, and it's like nine something. Mm-hmm. It was like almost one a.m. where he was, and <laughs> yeah. he was just hard boiling eggs and making turkey burgers. <laughs> Oh. But yeah, it was a lovely, lovely birthday. Honestly, fucking amazing. We just kept like pinching ourselves the entire time. I, we I couldn't there. believe that. I Yeah. I said, I don't remember feeling this much like genuine happiness. Agreed. And it Agreed. was really cool. I don't know. I don't know what was different about it. It was just some, I think just new experiences and feeling like, oh my God, this is something that in my wildest dreams, I never thought I would ever be able to do. Yes. Yes. And now I'm doing it. And I'm only 31, so fuck yeah. Do we feel like uh, all those things that are like, Tina Faye didn't get her first... Yeah, fuck yeah. Fuck yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Don't ask me what I was doing in my 20s. Yeah, don't want to know. Mm-hmm. <laughs> uh, thoughts on in and out worth shitting yourself. We didn't, we didn't actually go. We kept saying, we're going to go there. We're going to go there. We're going to go there. I'm furious. We didn't go. Next we just time. kept going out to eat or door dashing because... We didn't want to leave the we Airbnb. We didn't. Someone asked, I remember this question, so I'm not reading it verbatim, but it was like, did you smell weed everywhere you walked? Okay. Not <laughs> often when we were walking, but when we received our door oh, we dash, were at Venice Beach. We did. Oh, yeah. At Venice, was, we did. Yeah. Um, but when we got our door dash, almost every time, it was almost like the person hot box in the car. <laughs> it was like they were blowing it into our food. <laughs> like, yes. And which was fine. I kept accidentally ordering the biggest <laughs> bottles of water. <laughs> That's what I mean when I say we should have a TV show. <laughs> when I we tell get you, DoorDash from like a uh, like because we didn't want to drive too much and find like yeah CVS and stuff, so we just DoorDash it, and we were like, we need water. Yeah. So they come and they give Jerry a bag. And she's like, thanks. She goes to turn away, and he's like, wait, wait your bags and we turn around he's got like three more bags and they're like these huge liter glass <laughs> bottle fucking water oh, no, that was from the liquor store that was from the liquor store and then when cvs yes. you got even bigger jugs <laughs> did. they had handles <laughs> so okay from the liquor store though they had like voss and they had fiji we're, like, we're not Fiji trying to be Fuji? Fuji's an apple. Fiji's a water. <laughs> yeah. And we're I was like, oh my God, fancy. that's bougie as fuck. I don't need that. And so then I saw Mountain Spring and I was like, oh, oh. that's like the gas station the plastic bottle brand. Nope. nope. Apparently, nope. if you go and you order that at like a restaurant, it's a $20 bottle of water. <laughs> I didn't think that that's what it said. I thought it was like $4. And I'm like, that's. That's expensive, but this is California. Right. When they came, they were liter bottles, like glass bottles of water. Yep. We did drink them all. Um, Delicious water. But yeah, the (laughs) the night before we left, I thought, (laughs) I thought when I was, because I had to order stuff for Sierra to clean my wound Wound. that she thought I was going (laughs) to cause me to lose my arm. I was like, you need to get Neosporin or hydrogen peroxide (laughs) a stat because you are going to get an infection and I'm furious. I didn't. Everything's fine. It's healing nicely. I will have a divot. But <laughs> um, I thought, because we were so fucking thirsty again, mm-hmm. that I had ordered normal size water. <laughs> and I did not. I did not. They were, big, they were bigger they were the small. next time. I ordered four of them because I thought they were like the little nugget size ones. <laughs> and, and they were, they they were, were fucking jugs. Giant <laughs> jugs of water. And I'm like, oh my God, we're literally leaving in like four hours. You yep. can't drink this. <laughs> But we, we left, left it them there for whoever. Yeah, for whatever they need water for, yeah. I guess. I don't know. You want to know what else we left there? My fucking charger. <gasps> I realized when I got home, my phone charger. Remember I said, make sure that I unplug this. It was behind I the bed. I unplugged it. You did? Yes. Oh, well, it's not anywhere. Maybe check your stuff. I will check my stuff. Because I unplugged mine and I said, do you want me to unplug this? And you said, yeah. Maybe I just left it on the bed. <laughs> because I can't <laughs> well, find it anywhere. Well, there's that. I have another one. So, what is your? T- Ooh, this is an interesting question. Hmm. What is your take on the illusion that California is all Hollywood? So, I don't know if the illusion is that California is all Hollywood or that LA is all Hollywood. Yeah, that illusion was shattered for us like pretty, pretty much immediately. immediately. Yeah, because we were driving, and <laughs> the homeless epidemic was 
so devastating. Oh, I didn't mean to so laugh. Sad. I thought you were going to talk about the smog. That's why oh, I yes, laughed. The but, smog. but no, the smog was terrible as well. Like I've never seen anything like that. Yeah. But yeah, the yeah, it truly is an epidemic. It was absolutely heartbreaking to see. Yeah. And yeah, I think both of us kind of had a um you have this idea that it's going to be more glamorous than yeah. it is. Even in the hills, I was kind of like yeah, <laughs> no, no, I thought that way too. It wasn't like they portray it on TV, mm-hmm. and like it just really humanizes all of that because you think like these people are, um, not people, and they yeah. are. It's just normal people. Like the people we were surrounded by were like millionaires. I'm sure. Yeah. I'm sure. And they were all just like hanging out in their sweats and like saying, chilling. Yeah, <laughs> just like being normal fucking people. <laughs> yeah. I think that, I mean, I can't, I guess, speak for everyone, but I know that there's parts of California that are like vastly, vastly different yeah. than LA. Um, but it, there, there was such a stark difference between areas that were definitely um, underserved mm-hmm. and then areas that were very overserved. Yes. And it was bizarre to have those. <sighs> so close together yes. because like at one point you're driving through an area where businesses are boarded up and people are sleeping on benches and then all of a sudden you're in Beverly Hills yeah. and it's like the whiplash is wild yeah that you can be like that stark differences yeah and that people can live like that that yeah. would probably also be another reason I could never ever live there because I just can't that is heartbreaking to me yeah and it I wish something would be done well you remember um when we traveled we don't we don't travel that far with cash but whenever we were uh staying at the lake house Mm -hmm. and i had to drive home with my boys um when i was driving back up there was a woman who had a sign and she was talking about her kids and i knew that because i had forgotten my wallet at home or at the house and I didn't know if I needed gas. I I just took some cash that was around the house and I had made it back and I knew I didn't need that cash and I just handed it to that person. Mm-hmm. And I'm sure that people do that in LA as well, but like I I just I had such a hard time and I know you did as well driving around and seeing yeah um what was happening in parts of it. Yeah. Knowing that we were staying in an area yeah that was like we're staying in a three point four million dollar house. Right, we, we had one level of it. Like we, we weren't. No, we, <laughs> we had to walk down, which was, it was beautiful. It was absolutely stunning. Um, but the to get to it to access it, there was a spiral staircase, and I had a fifty pound <laughs> suitcase. suitcase. And the whole time I'm taking it down and back up, it's going like kink, 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 kink yeah. over all the steps, and I was making power lifter noises, going <gasps> like. <gasps> <laughs> trying to like get it up yeah so there's that oh this one says who shit themselves almost me twice. oh yeah i was stopped up and i can i don't understand what was happening but then on the plane i thought it was gonna happen and on then the plane? Didn't. remember i was having like those gas pains i kept trying oh. to sleep and my stomach well i also think i developed an ulcer so either because I have Crohn's or because I was anxious, I don't know what was what, or it was because I was anxious that it triggered the Crohn's. But I've been having stomach issues again. I think I've been having flares again that have been kind of mild. But on the way home, I kept trying to sleep and then I would just get like stabbing shooting pains that yeah. would like jolt me. Jerry was like, I just felt you like jerking awake. And I'm <laughs> I like, thought you were having dreams where you were falling. <laughs> no. It was just like every time I would almost be asleep, my stomach would be like, ah, yeah. like it feels like a knife in your freaking gut. So I did not poop well, but you I pooped almost a lot. shit in Trader Joe's. <laughs> I pooped so much. And yeah, I guess Sierra, Sierra and I have not spent that much time together. No. Like, um, ever? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, I mean, when we went on vacation together, but like just you and I. 10 years ago, maybe? Oh my God. Yeah. That has yeah. been 10 years. Yeah. Um, but you and I have not spent that much together, like alone. alone. No, um, alone, alone. <laughs> you are not alone. Um, <laughs> but 
I don't think you realize like how often I almost shit myself yeah. and how desensitized I am to it. You looked at me dead in the face <laughs> and went, I almost just shit myself right there. I literally almost just shit myself. And I was like, what? We're in a Trader Joe's. <laughs> we were just, I, I we can't were control just it. at a bathroom. I can't control it. When it's coming, it's coming. And I'm like, who I invited hear- you to the party? <laughs> <laughs> Glad you're here, I guess. Yeah, I guess. Do um, we take our Starbucks into there? When did we get the Starbucks? Was it before or after the Trader Joe's? I like him after having, because okay. I had the bags. That's right. In Starbies. I'm having a real like, I can't remember what happened when. Yeah. It's all blending together for me. Any funny travel stories? Oh boy, do we have some. <laughs> <laughs> what, what am I allowed to tell? <laughs> you can tell the, the one, I think. All of them? Yeah. Okay. I think enough times have <laughs> passed. We, pay, we got the, the refund back. You for did? The, yeah. Okay, so we're good. I'm telling the story now. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So here's the thing. Because Sierra and I have not traveled together, and because my birthday was actual booty hole, and it was her suck birthday, ass. like the suckiest suck ass of birthdays. Yeah, it was real um, bad. And because we we're going to be celebrating Sierra's birthday, and I, by proxy, was going to claim it as my second birthday. And I, I approved of that. Um, I splurged on where we stayed and what we were going to drive. Mm-hmm. And we got an Audi... A5, A5 convertible. convertible. Yes. And when we first, when we pulled out uh, off the lot with it, nothing worked. <laughs> like, we couldn't get the fucking radio to work. The so GPS we're just wouldn't there work. In silence. <laughs> sweet, sweet silence. And we're like, yeah, we put the fucking radio or like songs oh, yeah, on did. our phone. I put Spotify on my we were phone. Like, Whoa. <laughs> so anyway, we first drove to. The Airbnb, we couldn't get in um, for hours. We wanted to look at where. Yeah, we I wanted were to be at. like, where am I going? We got, we landed around nine a.m. We couldn't get into 9:45. the Airbnb. Forty-five. No, it was eight forty-five. No. Yes. No. Yes. Was it? Yeah. Fucking a. Okay. So then we couldn't get in to. It was probably nine forty-five when we left the Audi place around. Mm-hmm. Um. But the plane landed at 8.45. And so we couldn't get into the Airbnb until 4 p.m. Yeah. So we had a lot of fucking time to kill. Love and that. we were both hadn't slept in like 20 hours. Just gross as fuck. I was wearing your shorts and no underwear. So I'm sorry. Oh, yeah, that's true. <laughs> I didn't know that we I didn't know we couldn't get into our Airbnb. So I was wearing pants because I was in the flight and they're really comfortable pants. And they're but cold. They're, it's yeah. cold on planes. Yeah. So and I knew that we were going to be there early mm-hmm. in L.A. So anyways, you let me have your shorts. and I was like, well, I'm not wearing them. <laughs> so I, that reminds me I need to wash those. Um, <laughs> so please do. Anyway, we leave and then we go to eat. Yeah, we went to Saddle Ranch yep. for a little lunch. I get the biggest fucking bowl of pasta you've ever seen. You're like, listen to this shit. So this guy <laughs> fucking, the Eddie. waiter, Eddie, he told us his name four times. <laughs> I think he wanted us to call him that. And I was like, I won't. But I, I will. Okay. I'll do it. Next time. Next time. <laughs> Next time Eddie, I'm coming back for you. <laughs> um, But we go to order and I was like, I'll have this pasta thing because I was really living my best pasta dreams. Mm-hmm. And he was like, yeah, straight up you don't want that because it's <laughs> huge it is huge and you i was don't like fucking know me eddie i was like hey eddie i fucking want it <laughs> and he's like it's 11 a.m and i was like bring me the pasta <laughs> i Shut want your that mouth shit. and bring me that pasta yep so he did and it was huge but giant i probably ate half of it yeah, i well you finished it when you took it back because we did yeah we're leftover ass bitches yeah and i smashed that shit yeah. so it was delicious eddie don't tell me what to do ever again <laughs> anyways <laughs> so then we decide we're gonna go to a beach we, we just decide any on venice be- because we just like typed a beach we were like beach well, i knew beaches near me yeah and i venice. knew about venice and i was like sure let's go to venice yeah. and allegedly venice is the armpit of beaches <laughs> we didn't so, know i thought it was nice i <laughs> sierra was like i could see myself living here in another <laughs> life in a van with I someone i swear to god i've never felt more at home there was <laughs> yes. like dudes like laying in smoking weed out of their truck and selling art and i was like i could live here <laughs> this is where i belong basically these everyone are my fucking was people. Type. <laughs> these are my people yeah so in order to go to the beach we needed to park and I <laughs> I thought I knew where I was going to park. And then I see this lot and we're like, yeah, we'll just go in there. And didn't realize it was a valet. 
Had no clue. No, they just, they were just standing there and they were like, pull in and we're like, okay. Well, there was a car blocking the entrance yeah. and I was like, oh, this person, I'll just wait for this person to leave and I'll just pull in there because it looks like there's open spots. Yeah. And then they told me to pull over to this side and I was like, oh, okay, tight. So <laughs> I, I, I do that and I hear a sound that you don't want to hear when you're driving a luxury <laughs> convertible that's not yours. Also, there was like a small little wooden, yes. metally booth. Yeah, wooden metally. <laughs> it's what either wood it? or it's metal. What was it? It was wood. It was wooden. It looked metal. <laughs> it was wooden, but it looked metal. It didn't look metal. They painted it to look like it was metal. It was blue. That's what color metal is. <laughs> it's not what color metal Clearly. is. <laughs> Anyways. It was right. That's where they told us to park beside. So Jerry, we hear the sound and she looks me dead in the face. I'm sitting by the booth and she looks me and she goes, ah, that was the curb. (laughs) And I was like, no, it wasn't. (laughs) Don't you fucking gaslight me. I said that definitely was the curb. And she goes, Jerry, I just watched it happen. I watched you hit the booth. You sideswiped that booth. Now, to be fair... You're over dramatic. I, I, I never true. believe you because I have I have a cut on my arm and you said I was gonna need to get it amputated. So and I thought our plane me. was falling out of the sky. Yeah. As so we're... excuse me for not believing <laughs> that I smashed into the booth. That's true. Turns out I did. Okay. Then we look in our mirrors and we can see the people running over to us with yeah. eyes wide open and we're like, Oh my god, we're about to get they're gonna kick us out of California. What <laughs> dicks we are. And they come running over and they're like, Sorry, 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 sorry. <laughs> We're so sorry that we put our booth in your way. <laughs> and I, I was like, she hit it. Like, it's yeah. okay. But they were amazing. They were. They came over with this cloth and they wiped it all off. They like buffed nothing it right happened. out. They fucking buffed it out. I was shocked. And what's it amazing? It completely fine. And is the, in that you moment. you just swiped it. You didn't yeah. like dent anything. No. And in there's definitely moment, paint transfer. <laughs> <laughs> and in that moment, neither one of us freaked out. No, we were just like, this is fine. This is <laughs> fine. Good thing we got the insurance. Huh? <laughs> yeah. We just walk away now. <laughs> but yeah, it did get fixed. And then they parked our car near and we tipped them no one very else. handsomely. Because oh, yeah. Thank God for those people. Yeah, they did. We came back to look for our car and it was like all the cars in like a block and then ours. <laughs> we're, we're like, really far very away. far away from every other car. We're yeah. like, yeah, yeah. Thanks. That makes sense. <laughs> um, And so travel story number two, which I cannot fucking believe this happened because I think we didn't tell anybody this except no. for our families. No, I think we talked about it. Do on we? The, oh, we might have. Yeah. I think we talked about it on the live. Um, So Speaking of Patreon, there's not going to be a new exclusive this week. Yeah. We looked and there's going to be two more uh, Fridays in July. So um, we're going to do them that way. It was just too much this week to yeah, do two it was. episodes. It was. Um, but we're, I'm like jet lag. You, you can get the live. <laughs> if you uh, go to patreon.com slash ladies and tangents, we've got a live for you. Yes, we do. Um, and you can hear more about the trip like in real time. In real time. <laughs> yeah. Um, What's wild is in the last episode, I talked about how I have an amazing ability to keep calm and act like we're not in the middle of a burning building. Well, <laughs> um, me thinks we need to be more careful when we speak. <laughs> so here's the deal. We're sitting there. We're getting ready. We're so fucking nervous because we're going to go do this interview. We're literally yes. getting ready to go do this interview. And we woke up super early. So we're like, great, we're going to have loads of time to get there we can even stop for food yeah it'll be amazing i'm feeling great that i am not taking forever to get ready yeah and then we hear a helicopter and i'm like cool helicopter whatever and this but is like, the night after or this is the morning after sierra had looked up Googled. murders in the hollywood hills <laughs> literally the next day yep. and so we hear it go by once and i'm like that's cool and then it like we can hear it it's not stopping so it's been yeah. like 10 minutes and, then and we I, realize it's circling i over was like our- yeah is it circling us and mm-hmm. she's like yeah so i go outside and it is like directly over where we're at and she's like does that say lapd and immediately and- i'm like sierra there's Don't no an fucking idiot. way the LAPD is circling above our house. <laughs> it turns out they were. It was the <laughs> LAPD. Yeah. That's what it, it said. Um, and then we hear them talking over. 
But it was like, <laughs> and we're like, what the fuck did they say? And we look up and the guy who owns the house we're staying in is on his balcony. And he looks down. And he's like, what did they say? And we're like, we don't fucking know. know. I think they said something about a Jeep Wrang- Wrangler. <laughs> yeah. So we heard something about Jeep Wrangler. We heard something. Then I hear what I think is shots fired. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, it's a fucking manhunt. <laughs> there's, there's a murderer on the loose. They said shots fired. And he's near us because they're circling above us. And and then I hear them go, right there, right there, turn right, turn right. And I was like, She looks ah! at me and she goes, they found him. They're, they, we're, like, it's right here. Yeah. Turns out, no. What I thought was shots fired was actually fire. <laughs> because I hear... We started hearing fire trucks, and I was uh-huh. like, "There's no way it's a manhunt if and there's fucking fire sending trucks. fire trucks up here." So I walk to the edge of our balcony, and I look up, and I can it's see just the like smoke, white, white smoke, like. Phew. Yep, and so we end up walking to the top of the stairs to go mm-hmm. out to the front of the house, and we realize that the fire truck is right next to our car, literally in front of where we are staying. Yes. The house directly behind us on the hill like right above us is on fire yes both of them are the houses are on fire and also the yard in front of it and um in california it's fire season right now and things are dry and i think like maybe a week and a half ago um there was like like 34 acres were burned in the hollywood Uh hills due to a fire so like it was super fucking serious not to mention when you're in the hills the it's like a fucking maze to get in there and yep. the the like the road road is very narrow so narrow and people drive up there like they're fucking, fucking ready blind ass turns like <laughs> going 60 miles an hour. no they, yeah. but they were going like 40 there's you and your fucking <laughs> i'm exaggerating they were going like 35 40 around these turns mm-hmm. where you can't see if there's a car coming down and they're yep. taking up the whole road. We almost got smashed into several times, but the roads are so narrow that this fire truck is blocking the entire road. Yep. And then because it's also the top, they have mm-hmm. a fire truck up there. So everybody in that little vicinity was essentially blocked in. We couldn't leave. Nope. We're like stuck, which is my nightmare. But <laughs> we were so calm. We were we just were. like hanging out with the guy, <laughs> the fucking the owner of the house that we were staying at came out and he's like, what the fuck did I think I was going to do with this? He had like a small fire extinguisher. <laughs> he just took it back in the house. But yeah, we're sitting there like, what do we do? Yeah. Because we literally flew to California for this interview. And now we may not even be able to go. We It literally was to the point where we were sitting in the car and we're like, the fire is put out, but they're still here. What do we just tell them? Sorry, we can't make it. Well, we tried to leave. We did. Because we were like, maybe there's another exit and so Mm -hmm. we drove up and there was a a fire hose uh, blocking the road and i was like well i don't think i can drive over that and see i was was like like, why do it do it (laughs) shoot us into the air who gives a shit fucking pinch this hose (laughs) pinch it off (laughs) yeah it's not good the whole thing goes up on (laughs) send send one of the firefighters into the air because of the pressure (laughs) um so then i had to reverse (laughs) back down the hill again Um, so scary because it's very narrow and so we're looking at the time and i know that we need like 30 minutes to get to get there and i am drafting an email saying we are trapped in the hills right now due to a fire we're gonna have to do it virtually and a fireman runs up to our car and he goes we're getting ready to move we're moving right now (laughs) and we were like huzzah (laughs) we did it and we made it right on fucking time yeah literally with like a minute to spare yeah (gasps) incredible i could not believe that that happened no what luck Mm -hmm. and it was on sierra's birthday it was on my birthday and you want to hear some fucking freaky shit so when we left, so my so birthday slept with the firefighter. <laughs> I'm <like>, firefighter. Yeah. <laughs> no, but honestly, when they say everyone is hot in LA, they're <laughs> not exaggerating. It is hard to be bisexual out there. <laughs> it is. It's just a like a barrage of good looking people. We're, but we were <laughs> serious. Like we are no better than men <laughs> sitting on the beach in Venice <laughs> being like, oh my God, <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> but, um, so my birthday is on the 27th. 27 is my lucky number. I also have two and seven, both of them lucky numbers for me. Yep. Okay. We get to go on to our, like board our flight to leave to LA. The gate, right? Yep. is C27. C? Yeah. C? <laughs> 27. <laughs> then 
when the fire is happening, Jerry's like, don't even fucking look at that fire truck. Don't look at that fire truck. And it's fucking fire truck 27. Yep. I was like, what is happening? She literally looks at me and she goes, we're going to be fine. We're going to be. That's I how did. I know. Yep. Everything's fine. That's my lucky number. 27. And was it? It was perfectly fine. fine. Yeah. And our flight there was amazing. It was. The flight back, we had gate fucking 14 or some <laughs> shit. And it was terrible. <laughs> it was terrible. Um, I don't know if this was a question that someone asked, but I it was asked to me in person today. And I think it's funny and I want to bring it up because okay. I don't think I told you. Um, Someone said to me, so who's that tall drink of water on your Instagram? <laughs> My dad asked. He was like, who is that? Oh, my God. So Someone sent the picture to my sister and was like, who is this? <laughs> Everyone. That's Chase. That is my friend Chase. Yeah. Chase and I have been friends for 12 years. I actually met Chase the same time I met Shane. We all lived on the same floor together. Yep. Uh, my mom, when I was telling her about it, she was like, I didn't say anything to Shane because I didn't know if he knew. And I'm like, what? <laughs> and she goes, but then he brought it up. He brought up that you were seeing Chase. And I'm like. Yeah, yeah of course he did i told my dad i was like it's literally like her brother yes 100 percent um and someone else was like look at this body language and shane goes they don't know chase no <laughs> like no they don't know chase no, no. um chase so, is yeah. very huggy but chase hugs me like that and well, we don't know I, each other the way you and Ch- i was gonna say chase my, my whole group of friends from that year of college, like we have a very, very special that bond. Could have been me. I could have been, but it wasn't. I know, but <laughs> it almost was. <laughs> it almost, um, what do you think my life would have looked like? Well, maybe we wouldn't be here. That's I told true. you I needed the content of your t- years of trauma. <laughs> I know, and <laughs> that, I'm glad I could give those to yeah, you. Thank you. Um, no, but we met. Tw- we've been friends for twelve years, and we haven't seen each other in six. Yeah, we haven't seen each other <gasps> since my wedding. I so. didn't know that. Yeah. Wow. You know what I love about Chase? And I hadn't seen Chase since your wedding, but I really didn't talk to him. Yeah. And so it's it had been like 10 years since yep. I had seen him. And uh, he is one of those people that like you, it's like no time has passed at all. There yes. was no awkwardness, no nothing. It was, hi. He gave me a hug straight away. And it yeah. was like literally nothing. He's meat coupons. <laughs> Nobody gets that except for the people who watch that one Patreon live. Did you but, talk about meat loops on that? Meat loops and... Yeah, oh, with Sam? No, the Patreon live we did when we watched. Oh, when we watched fucking. Yeah, he's the one who named uh, meat coupons and Sierra meat loops. Yeah. So uh, don't ask about yeah. meat loops, but that is that what... is just my friend Chase. Uh, he's a great guy. He's a great time. Yeah. Uh, and he moved to L.A. after he graduated. Uh, and so. We were like, show us around. And he's like, I got a fucking perfect place to go to. Go we to went Malibu? to Neptune's Net in Malibu. Mm-hmm. And then there was bird shit on our table. <laughs> it was amazing. It was delicious food. It was good. So but then good. we went to uh, Zuma Beach and oh my we God. saw like a pot of dolphins playing. Oh my God. There sea was a, lions. a rock of like six sea lions. And then a squirrel came up and put its hand on Chase's <laughs> foot. And so he Another started squirrel giving it was water. Just in my backpack. I was yes. like, what the hell? What in the Snow White? <laughs> yeah, yeah, we were climbing. We were like rock climbing. Yeah. It was, it was really fucking fun. That I day definitely was felt like we were dead. Yes, I was like, no way is this real. Yeah, my mom was like, you should frame that picture, and I was like, well, I will because I was dead in it. <laughs> <laughs> of what? Me what looking picture? out the be- on the rock. She wants you to frame a photo of, of yourself. Myself? <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay, I know. I'm like, I love that energy. <laughs> Hell yeah! Hell yeah! Well, I, I sent a photo of myself to Shane, and I said. I love this photo so much that I want to make it my own background <laughs> on my so phone. Good. I want to look at myself. That is the kind, I don't think I could ever do that, but I love people who have that energy that they yes. make themselves their background. Yes. I love that your hair is giving you that confidence again. Thank you. See, I need to get there because when you were taking those pictures of me, I didn't feel that. Yeah. I need to get back to it. Yeah. I just don't feel all of myself. Well, you're getting your extensions out. Oh, thank God. I'm so ready. Yeah. Oh, there's one more question. Oh, I do love my extensions, but it's what it's well time that they come out of my head. Yes, agree. There's so many questions, like wild, wild. Um, <laughs> but I like this question because I think it's a really good one to end on. Okay. And it says, "What was the one memory you'll keep from the trip forever, big or small?" Oh, oh my God! Don't make me fucking cry. <laughs> Jesus. What? I feel like all of them. 
But I would say the moment sitting on the rocks at Zuma Beach. That's exactly what I was going to yep. say. Because I felt a peace and like a calm yes. that I have not felt in a very, very long mm-hmm. time. That was almost like the universe was like, and I think seeing all those animals and everything that was happening mm-hmm. was such affirmation that was like, we got you. Yes. We got you. It was very much like... um I had such a moment of gratitude because I am someone who I just go. I just go and I don't care if anyone's going to follow me, but normally people end up following me. And she did. And and we did. I saw this rock and I was like, there's a trail. I'm going to go on that trail. I'm climbing it. I took my shoes off. I didn't want to do it. I was like, I'm not doing this. I'm afraid of heights. And she was like, I don't care if you do. I'm going. And then Chase was like, I'm going to go. And I was like, well, I'm not going to fucking stay down here by myself. <laughs> and like, they did, they couldn't even see me anymore. And oh. then they they like turned the corner and I'm like up high on this, <laughs> this rock just rock. sitting here. And they're like, what the hell? Yeah. Um. But yeah, I felt the same thing. Mm-hmm. I felt just an overwhelming sense of peace. And I feel like also... The scarves were so funny to me. Like, Dude. That was such. That moment too, just driving around. That drive Beautiful. from there to Malibu. Yeah. Oh, gorgeous. Yeah. Gorgeous. And there was a moment too in the when the fog was lifting. Yes. And it looked like real fucking Jurassic Park. <laughs> <You know what I'm laughs> yes. That I was like, oh my God, what the fuck are we doing? Yeah. This is incredible. Yeah. It was very validating. Um, And also. I think <sighs> tell me a- tell me if you think that I can say this. Okay. And if I can't, I'll take it out. Um, but there was a moment after the interview where I realized that it was very different than I thought it was going to be. Yep. And I was f- my- any imposter syndrome that I had going into it was gone. Yeah. I felt so proud of us. Yes. I felt so empowered. I felt so um connected with our community. I felt so just like grateful for what we had built and I walked out of there feeling like a bad bitch that and the rest same. of the trip I had this energy of like we fucking yes, did this we shit. We are making a difference. Yeah, that's we, how I we felt. We are making things different. And it was weird that it took that, but it was almost yes. like um these people seemingly have it all that you were supposed to have when it yeah. comes to like a professional kind of a thing. So like having that moment and walking out of there feeling like that made yes. me feel like, fuck yeah. Yeah. Go us. Yep. And it wasn't about being successful. It was about in my heart I knew that we were doing everything we were doing for all the right reasons. Yes. And yes. like hundred percent. And I no longer needed the validation of our quote anybody. unquote peers yeah. to know that we were doing the right yes, thing. Yes. That's what I think it to was. Look, to be able to look back on this and be proud. Yeah. So it was a really, really meaningful, powerful trip. Yeah. It was amazing. And also, I found an extra scarf and I gave it to Chase because he was riding in the back of the convertible. <laughs> that was so good. And if you still have that video, I uh, want people to see it because okay, like, I, will send it to I put mine on, Sierra put hers on, and then and I look Chase at the rear view mirror <laughs> and he's really struggling and it's just like freaking <laughs> flying all over the place uh, before he could get it on. But yeah. I have a picture maybe. I have a picture of the fire. Oh yeah, I have a picture was, of the and fire. And then maybe we'll post that. Yeah, uh, chase video. <laughs> we'll just make like a whole slide of like random photos that we had taken yeah. um, and posted on our Instagram. So yeah, if you want to see that, you can find it at Ladies and Tangents <laughs> on Instagram. Yeah, go follow us. Uh, and I think that's it. Yeah, I think. I mean, there was a lot that happened, but I feel like we covered a lot of it. Mm-hmm. Um, basically, thank you guys because we truly couldn't have done that without you. Yeah. Um, and I am just so grateful for you and proud of all of us for what we're doing yeah fucking same i can't build on to that because same we wouldn't be here without you but also keep in mind that everything that we do we do with your best interest it yeah at heart literally every single thing we do we're constantly thinking how can we do better for you yeah very brian adams yeah everything i do i do it do it for you Ah. Uh. <laughs> okay all right <laughs> um uh, until next time guys yeah. if you want more content you can find it at ladies uh, uh, ladies little, ladies little, ladies little ladies little um, <laughs> little ladies little pages <laughs> you can find it at patreon.com slash ladies and tangents yeah um uh, otherwise just you know google stuff find us places i don't know find us everywhere yeah 
follow us on Instagram. <laughs> follow us on TikTok. Yeah. Um. Anyway, that's that on our LA trip. Yeah. Put the LA in. Or they put the LA in ladies. They put their LA. Oh. In. I don't think that works. We anymore. put our ladies in their LA. <laughs> ladies in Los Angeles. Uh. That's all this is okay uh we love you so much we will see you next week all right we're out goodbye Bye.